Hey guys, what is going on? This is LarkNock1, and welcome back to part 3 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. We are playing as the African Union, and we are going for a purity victory. Last time, Church of Dawn's Light done dropped down where we didn't want them to, so we're going to have to deal with them. Uh, the Nihau. PAC here, the Pan-Asian Cooperative, dropped down Kuyan right here, so they're pushing up a little bit. Um, we have, you know, the Polystralians pushing up a little bit on this front as well. And we are working this progenitor ruin that we finally got to after crossing the ocean. We acquired a raptor bug from an expedition on an alien skeleton right here. And this guy right here is dying and will die before he finishes his expedition. So we're going to have to move him off now and tell him to heal. This one right here, we don't totally have a use for anymore. So let's go ahead and delete it. And that'll get our energy return up to 14 again. And we should be able to explore with this guy right here. Okay, wonderful. A resource pod right there. And we were buffing roads last time. Uh, have we begun these roads? Did we buff this road? No, we didn't. Okay, so we'll go ahead and buff these two roads. I don't know why I skipped one. And next turn. So our general strategy here is, of course, to basically get ourselves to probably eight population and then call it a out to exactly where we need them on the map. Right now we're teching alien life forms, and soon enough we will tech alien sciences to get onto the Xenomass Well and Xeno Nursery. Uh, we'll get alien bio as well eventually, hopefully to get to level 2. Um, I'm hoping for another quest. Um, and then in addition to these points, which are 12, we should have enough to get at least to level 2. So we're basically just gunning on a quest. Uh, for now, let's just see what's up here. Okay, actually another resource pod. Um, should be able to get all of them with a raptor bug. Let's have him heal up. Get the raptor bug on this one at least. Pretty on research, nice. So we finished a progenitor ruin, it actually gave us uh, part of bioengineering. Which I don't even know if we need, so that was kind of a unlucky progenitor ruin. Let's just see what that is. Um, Alright, so it's pretty much a supremacy harmony tech. Kind of not useful. Oh well, you don't always get exactly what you want. Let's just explore down this way. And this one, um, should we keep him alive? We do have two remaining expeditions, so yeah, let's just, for the heck of it, keep him alive. We can explore some of the other zones too. Well, we failed the buff, because I was too busy paying attention to other things, so. Oh well. What can we do right now? I could just go ahead and build that generator. Leave this worker to buff on his own. Honestly, our economy is still doing excellently. 14 energy per turn, even with those roads. Get him back on land. See what there is to see. Hopefully he doesn't die on the way back. And this one can start buffing right here. This time we'll try to be extra careful. Alrighty. I think we may have seen everything down south. Oh, yet another resource pod. That is why we keep going. Alright, so he's on a plane, so generator's not a bad tile to build there. I've seen a lot of aliens here. I don't like it. Um, let's just back off. Swim through this way. So we have the trade depot quest now. I like the one production. It gets us to a two production trade depot. Um, I enjoy the extra production. Alright, so we find ourselves with the Occupation Hazard quest decision. So here, I think the choice is Harmony. Um, it's going to have, have us build one of these guys that we're currently teching towards. And that should be fine, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. Yep, we need one alien preserve, and we are four turns away from being able to build one. So that's exactly what we're doing. And look at that, the PAC is forward settling in this direction. So there's definitely going to be some issues with them in the near future. Alright, so Magan, uh, we did build the repair facility. What to build now? Soldier is not a bad option, especially because after we get to Harmony Level 1, they will be a little bit more expensive. Um, yeah, honestly, I think it's probably the best option right now. We, do, we are making tons and tons of energy. We can afford a little bit of a military, and we need to wipe out the Church of Dawn's Light anyways. So... 
I'm glad I have this raptor bug with me. You can't fight any nests necessarily with it, but you know, it could help taking on, you know, maybe wiping out Churches of Dawn's light a couple turns earlier, something like that. Let's get this raptor bug north. Oh boy, Siege Worm. Let's try our best to avoid him. And he is at 90 health now, so we can definitely move him onto here. And go ahead and construct and finish that expedition. Ah, jeez, I really don't want to... I... There could be a nest right there, so I really want to avoid that. Let's move up another one. And I failed to buff yet another road. Oh, well. That is directly in the way of where I want to build cities. So Ninit 10 cannot kind of survive at all. No clue where that siege worm went. Right there, okay. Um, we might have to just go completely around then to get out. We finished our soldier. Let's go ahead and get another one. And move this soldier up. We actually did hit eight people, so you know what? It's probably time to swap over to our first colonist. Should not be too hard. The thing is, we don't actually have that many high production tiles. Those would really help out the production here. Um, we could acquire either of these desert hills. And they would be quite nice tiles. They would help in a lot of ways. Um, problem is, they'd cost a little bit of energy. And that's kind of in the way of being able to buy the colonist. Because as it stands, we're only maybe 200 energy out. Or, what is that? 20 turns? less before we can buy a colonist and I don't want to push it off like three turns for each so well I don't know well, I'm just gonna put him on the ground hopefully he doesn't get killed this next turn I'm still pretty green with the aliens we have discovered we got alien life forms on our new world unsurprisingly it grows reproduces dies and cannot understand French. All right, so that's pretty good. Um, it gives us extra culture from paddocks, which is always nice, right here, for example. And the alien preserve is actually a very, very good building. But I'm not gonna stop the colonist for it. I'll make it the next priority. We really need to acquire those desert hill tiles. I'm just trying to think why won't it acquire them? It wants to acquire these other tiles. Hmm. You know, honestly, I think the extra production for more colonists is better than the time we have to wait in order to buy one. So I'm going to buy at least one of these. And we'll finish this generator and then prioritize that. I want to go up and poke the Church of Dawn's Light so I can actually start a war with it. Meanwhile, let's get our plus two energy from Thorm Reactors. It's definitely good. Keep our energy up. And we finished life forms, so now we can acquire whatever tech we need now. Alien bio could be a very good choice. Um, yeah, we'd be at we'd be at level two right then and there, but we don't need it quite yet. I'm just trying to balance my options here. The thing is, we don't need it immediately. And what do we need? We could try to go for a gene vault. Wouldn't be too bad, especially given the amount of production we have in our capital. <sighs> Trying to time this right. So we do need to get alien sciences eventually once we have other cities up. But the other cities need to be up first. The gene Vault's a good way to really get all your economy pumping. And alien bio, we need that up for alien sciences. And then computing, the other thing is that this is a very, very good science deck that you really want to get early. Hmm... How to do this. Physics is also important. We want our rangers so we can actually take out targets. We could declare early war. Um, we don't actually have very much room to grow without using war. Either if it's down here to take out the Golden Bell Temple and the aliens. North, Church of Dawn's Light. East, the, Asi uh, the Pan-Asian Cooperative. So you know what? It might actually be wise to grab physics early. Or we could just go computing. Oh, Jeez, it's hard to decide. Hmm. We will hit Affinity 1 soon enough with the uh, completion of the Alien Preserve anyways. So I guess it's fine not to go Bio. So let's just go Physics. 
And let's get him around. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to get him actually home. And let's finish this expedition module. Jimbuba is attacking those aliens. Don't argue them too hard. Don't want them pissed at me. We are purity, so at the end of the day we will wipe out the aliens. They are contaminating our pristine world. However, it is that they're doing that, I'm not sure, but they are! 16 energy per turn, look at that, that's nutty. Alright, so I want to make sure these guys are full health before I declare war with an underpowered unit. Just a wise decision, and we will try to get our explorers home for their two final expeditions. These roads will certainly help our explorers get home, now that I think about it, so why not? As long as they can... they should be able to make it. Nina 10 isn't cutting off total connection, just most connection to the east. Alright, let's grab this resource pod. It's 19 more research, not bad. Not super useful. And then there's 30. Alright, we got 30 culture as well. Consider a simple problem, such as navigation in a spaceship approaching light speed. So that just gave us everything. That gave us the science and the culture. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab computing now. Um, I'm really not worried about hitting purity one soon. I don't think we need the gene vault quite yet, because I will be building a lot of colonists. The question is, is when will it be the case that I'm done building colonists? Let's say I build two more and buy one, and I finish building this one. It'll probably be time to build the gene vault at that point. Because I want to do get max workers out, because that's just a good idea. Uh, let's actually do that. That's not a bad idea. We'll see how it plays out. Alright, so we did finish knowledge. So now the time to make this decision between industry and prosperity, it's here. Uh, we have to choose. Um, I think I'm going to go industry. I think I find that industry is incredibly good with purity. Purity is incredibly, incredibly good at growing very, very, very big. And industry rewards you for having incredibly tall cities. So, for example, civic duty here, excellent the taller your cities are. Magna Santi, excellent the taller your cities are. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Let's grab labor logistics. Alright, so let's start this war. Hopefully our unit does not explode on impact. Alright, so they lived. Wonderful. And let's see if we can get our raptor bug over there. Eventually, and do some damage. You got both of our explorers now. Well, not this one yet, I guess. Alright, you have enough health to get home, don't you? Yes, you do. The cool thing about having an alien on your side is it actually heals in Miasma. From the very beginning of the game. Alright, so health from clinics is always nice. And let's grab this mine. Yep, now that it's actually in our territory, it's actually a one food tile in addition to the stuff it already is. Like I said, the desert hills, especially the riverside ones, are the best hills in the game. And we have a lot of hills here, jeez. Let's heal this guy up. We can send him in for another attack run to train him up. It's important to get your promotions where you can. I, hopefully this guy's not in the way by the time these units arrive. They will be pretty injured and they'll have to do a little bit of a healing salvo in Magan before they head out again for their last journey. And they will not be returning after they grab those two. We've already done a satellite quest. It's not likely that we get another. Um, so yeah. Two more turns. It looks like these roads are actually not adding maintenance. I'm not sure why. I thought they did. Yeah, it costs one energy per turn to maintain. Maybe it's only in our territory? Yeah, I, it's not... It's odd. We'll see if it goes down to 15 next turn. Doesn't look like it. Oh, you, you can stack units with, uh... With your workers. How did I forget that? Oh, well. Watch, uh, the PAC send me a message being like, Oh, you're trying to declare war on me, eh? In the next turn. 
honestly, that would have been a fairly opportune moment when it is not a city yet. That said, it does still have 21 combat strength, which is far too much for a lone raptor bug. So let's go ahead and get this guy back home, and this guy can go there. Um, now there's a canyon here, so even if we do try to play something near it at 10, we'll have to build this way, so we might as well keep building roads. How much health does he have now? 20, okay, so you can go one more turn in Miasma. Still be safe. Let's just do some more training for you there. Should be level one now. Get its first veterancy. We did get our first colonist. Okay, so we actually can't place it where we want it, which is right there. Huge disappointment. Um, I don't know what's even to the left of me. That's kind of a mistake of my exploring. What we can do is we could probably forward settle over here somewhere, prevent any further movement south of the PAC. And I think that's probably what I'm going to do. I might, yeah, you know what? Um, we'll just have one of the explorers lead him there. Okay. So we are grabbing our second alien preserve. It's very good. Actually, now that I think about it, genetic map is coming a little too soon. Let's put some tech into computing. I don't need it immediately, immediately. Alright, let's go ahead and get this guy trained up. And onto the road, sir. No, this road is not finishing. How much health do you have? 20. You're good. This unit, why not? Send him up north, do some damage, and then he can escort the colonist over. Okay, this way. Hell, maybe the colonist gets there on its own first. Alright, Brasilia is also happy to see us, friendly to the aliens. Jeez, I really just want to buy another tile. Why not? I mean, honestly, the truth is that we actually don't have the place to put colonists just yet. We'll have to build a bit of a military and do some combat down here, maybe some war with the PAC. Um, I'd like to get down my prelim city and wipe out the Church of Dawn's Light first before I do that. Um, let's get him home. Okay, so this colonist actually can keep moving. Um, well this road's done now, so maybe it can... Nope. No siree. So just do nothing for the turn. And we'll just put him in the miasma, because he actually heals there, so it's good. Colonist into city, get your expedition module, and heal up. Let's send him in the borders as well. Alright, so now let's just hit it. Raptor bugs are great. That's a strong unit, 14 combat strength. The only thing quite as good from the uh, from the alien net, from the alien not the nest, the alien skeleton is a drone. Drones are really nice. They move three tiles. They ignore zone of defense. The thing is, is the aliens will tend to target them, just for like no reason almost. It's very strange. Oh, that's just a dick move. We need open borders now, buddy. You're gonna give it. Well, we gotta give him 200 return. Oh well. I mean, war with them is inevitable. Whatever. I need to set up this city. It's more important. Alright, so this road... Why not just keep building it? It's in their, bo their borders, so they should pay for it. But I don't know how that works. Who knows? Alright, so hopefully this unit, we can just heal him. And soon, next turn, we'll send this guy in again. Swap these two out. That one in. Now this one can just heal up in the borders while this one heals up. And they should be full heal around the same time. Alright, where do we want to put this city? Uh, very important. Strategically where we decide to settle down. Tundra is a bad idea. That's pretty bad land. Next to the river is excellent, excellent land. So... I'm thinking here is not a bad place, but this is a desert hill. Ah, oh, that's a floodplain, though. Both also good tiles. This could be a petroleum city, hands down. That's a lot of petrol petroleum all in one region. And a central location here would really control the region. Um, 
tons of resolin too. No floatstone to speak of. If we settle down on this desert, we don't actually waste any tiles, and because it's just a bad tile itself. And we have access to a lot of really good tiles at the start. So let's go ahead and try our luck on that spot. Hopefully we're not beaten to it or killed. Alright, let's move carefully. Get that away. Anything else? Heal, heal, heal. This guy's healing as well. And he has 99 health, I think, so let's just send him in again. You can get up to, I think, level uh, 2 veterancy just by combating... Oh, no, I guess it's just 1. You can only get up to level 1 veterancy combating stations like this. Um, I believe that you can get up to level 2 fighting aliens, and you can get as much as you want from fighting other players. So when will this guy be healed? Well, he's at 98. We'll just send him in. So the real question is, will we actually be able to do it with just these two units? It doesn't look like it. It, lo it looks like we maybe need a third unit. But we don't have a third unit. Alright, so let's heal this worker up. Because he's not going to be able to do anything for us on these miasma tiles if he dies. And get this guy to where we wanted him, which is right there. Next turn, we'll plop down our city and claim the central region for the Great African Union. And you done wrecked my road, buddy. Not nice. Not nice. Okay, let's settle. Hey, it gives us a soldier. How did I forget about that? I don't know, but hopefully we'll be able to get him home and up north, but maybe not. All right, there we go. Here's the quest decision, and we're going to go Harmony. Get ourselves that Harmony level one. What life was like on Earth. When the whole atmosphere was breathable. That's a lot of I culture. What life was like. Okay, so there we go. There's the marine choice. Um, I like usually this, the plus 15% when attacking. This is another good option on purity because the centurion here has the option to heal every turn. And if you do pick this up, and if you do go with the the quest for the, um, what do you call it? The, uh, the guy, the thing, the thing we just built, the alien preserve, that also gives some healing. Your Centurions can heal obscenely. So, you know, we're going to try that. We're going to try going for that. Um, and it's also just nice. I, I do enjoy the healing now and then. It makes you very strong on the defense. Alright, so the choice is... Uh, with the next virtue we pick up, uh, we also got culture from that quest decision. Uh, we'll actually unlock another free virtue. So we can actually do two in industry right now. Which two? We could go with plus one energy from basic resources and investment, and that would be pretty darn good. Or we could gun it down to standardized architecture that can help out our new cities, but they're not going to be up for a while. So maybe central planning and commoditization are the best choices. That gets us two, and then we need only three more in tier one for this guy. Um, but where would we get those three? Tier one's not that good beyond these four and maybe four here. Um, scale one structure is actually good. So you know what? All five in here could be there. But still, that's not enough. Um, hmm. Yeah, this isn't bad. Uh, this guy. It's actually quite good. It makes your capital decent. and gives it a reason why it's better than everything else. That said, you do really want to gun your way down to the health techs. Um, oh, what should we do? What should we do? Monetization is great, investment is great, so you know what, let's just go ahead and grab those. Yeah, the next one we'll grab is standardized architecture for sure. But that's really going to help our economy out. Let's heal these guys up. Oh, and these guys will heal a lot faster now, won't they? That's right, and now that he's actually a marine, we might actually stand a chance at destroying the Church of Dawn Light with just two units. Franco Ibes. Alright, you just decided to destroy another tile. That's that's cool. I like that. Alright, let's just keep going with this. I want to do connect this road. Um, I don't know why, but it looks like it's not actually costing us anything. And our explorers are done at the same time. So let's send them down, ultimately, to their last expedition. Your science will be forever valued, and your additions to our glorious culture have, are just like just great you guys have served let's in fact look at look at them because we actually have this mod on service length 70 turns 
he has received two promotions. I, uh, I think that's just all of them. This guy's served 64 turns. They've truly done us a service. They haven't killed anything, but you know, they've done us a service. Let's get our marines home, if we can. Let's build this road. Okay, so here is where we can decide to go with all units plus five healing, um, as opposed to this, which gives you really good alien preserve. Alien preserve is already, I think, two culture, unless it's three. It's two. So we could have a two culture, one science, one energy, or we could just get plus five healing on all units, giving us a 20 heal on our marines. Ah, oh, jeez, what to do? And that's out of territory. Um... You know what? I like this. We're, we're going for that build anyways. Our centurions will be disgusting. They will heal obscenely quickly. So I guess that's what we're doing. Alright, next turn we'll just attack with both of these. Yet another hill that is done. And it looks like it's finally building our second marine here. Uh, we will build that and then we'll start pumping out more colonists. As it looks right now, we just need to take out targets. Um, with this guy, we could send him up to this grassland up here and or we could just buy another hill honestly I like the hills let's just do it for some reason this game hates hills and you have to buy all of them a bit annoying but that's the game alright so we know the siege worm is somewhere here that's the only pass so we have to be very careful with the siege worm keep our distance hope he doesn't move in I hope he moves out honestly please move out siege worm don't stay in this little area and block it off thank you sir Thank you, sir! Mr. Siegeworm, you've been a very good man. It's a little bit of a blockade here, though. Let's just fortify for now. And improve this last hill. Our guys are healed now. And let's throw them in. Who has more? They're both the same. Okay. This one has veteran though. Boom, bam. Yeah, we are doing serious, serious damage. Nope, no war. Not with Vadim. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Let's definitely move this guy out. Thankfully, no units will be blocked by... Oh, this one will. If he moves here, he won't be able to move again. Ah, uh, jeez. Is that really how it works? Can these two swap? They can't. Alright, sweet. That's exactly what I wanted. We got by the Siege Worm. No trouble. What to build now? Well, we will need these Pharma Labs, and it takes a long time. Well, I just had bad luck with the quests of late. Um, that said, Trench of Light is about to fall. It just seems bad not to build a colonist, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay. Um, Alrighty. Heal him up. Keep him... Just let him do his thing. He'll heal. I wonder if there's unit maintenance on aliens. I think there is, but that just doesn't make any sense. The other thing that doesn't really make sense is how they listen to us. You know, like, why do they do anything we want them to do? Um, it makes sense, I guess, in the rising tide way they're trying to explain it. Which is that the aliens... Um, oh jeez, we could just take this worker. We'd have to declare war and then... Ah, uh, just be gross crossing. Oh well. Not like these explorers are coming back anyways. We won't declare war, it's too premature. Um, but let's get our guys back. Yeah, the Church of Dawn Light is going to fall. And then our four marines? Three marines and a raptor bug. will clean up anywhere else. This guy's obscenely close to dead, but still, marines would do nothing to him. Wow, our heal rates are actually faster than the church. So that's the only reason we're going to be able to heal the Church of Dawn Light, it looks like. Yeah, what are we doing here? We, these, guys have it, these guys have it covered. They don't need us. We can just go back down south. Um, one thing I might want to do is explore this region. It's kind of shameful that I haven't. And there's probably at least one good spot. Namely, that there's four Xenomass and a Titanium. So even if it was right there, that would be excellent. I'm glad we secured this early, though. It's very important. Let's put another road here. 
I can get him, actually. That way. Oh, okay. So, the station is gone. I didn't leave behind one of the little things, just because we didn't destroy it. Um, and let's get these guys this way. So the thing is, we might not get the weird little settlement thing here, but I'm okay with that. I really just want to send my explorers down, get the expeditions, and then terminate them. Because it's just not worth the energy per turn you spend on them. Okay. This guy here. How much damage has he taken? Lots. Well, it looks like you, sir, actually should do the killing. Let's have him do the killing. What? What? Fine, Raptor Bug can do it. Ah, fools! We've destroyed you. It gives you a good amount of science and energy, too. Alright, so we can actually buy a colonist now. We'll do that. Just like that. How much more time on the solar collector? It is about to go down. So our economy will tank in a few turns. Um, so let's go ahead and wipe out the aliens then, because they are good energy. They're a great source of energy. And we'll be able to build another city down here, more importantly. We need city locations. Uh, we meant no offense. We, we never mean offense. Oh, we, we didn't mean it, buddy. We didn't mean it. This guy needs to definitely go up north now that Church of Dunlight is gone. Definitely before the PAC does anything. And let's just have our guys heal then. These two at least. Alright, this marine. Um, let's send him right here. We'll get them in line to piss off the aliens, but I, I, don't, I don't want two marines just dealing with them alone. Oh boy, look at those drones. Yeah, I really don't want combat until my explorers are down and safe. Oh, I just remembered this entire episode I haven't been doing anything on timing. So I have no clue how far we are. I'm going to assume it's almost over. So let's put, like, maybe four minutes on the clock. Let's give me four more minutes to screw around. There we go. Alright, next turn. If this is a bit of a long episode, oh well. You know, they're like 25 minutes as is. So that hill's done, so we can actually move this guy that way. And this one... He's supposed to settle right here, as I recall. This was a good distance from everything. Yeah, right there. And we'll get him as close as we can to that nest without pissing anybody off. We can build one more on our way to connect these two great cities. Is the satellite down yet? Oh boy, our economy is going to take a hit when that satellite is down. Oh boy, oh boy, that's bad. These are not good economics. Our economy was great beforehand, so... Let's settle. There we go. This worker. Um, we can just move him that way. And the alien war will begin shortly. I want to make sure the PAC doesn't do anything silly that they'll regret. But it doesn't look like we really have the military to enforce that. Um, let's just get our explorers down. It's good that we'll definitely get these two expeditions easy. Alright, let's send him this way. And we'll start this progenitor ruin next turn. Okay, and... The aliens aren't gone yet, so this way is the best bet. I have no clue what's out there, though. Let's just scout with the worker. And it's probably time to grab us a ranger. Uh, military's not a bad idea. It's turn 86. We've pissed off the PAC. They're very close to us. We want to war them anyways. Stuff ...and give us more time for important things like market manipulation. That said, we didn't just get the um, access to the network, and we should abuse it. So let's go ahead and grab a ranger and then grab the network. Okay, not a bad spot up here, actually. So we can settle down on this desert, and that'll be a good spot. Um, yeah, it's definitely a good spot for a city. I think it's now time to grab genetic mapping. Um, that'll give us the gene vault, 
And if we can build that before our cities, uh, well, Ayan will definitely go, but before Tabo finishes and before these other cities finish, we'll have all the workers we need and we won't have to build them. So we can move these guys south. I'm going to keep them here just in case the PAC tries anything stupid. This guy's really injured, so he's not going to survive another road build in Miasma, so we'll heal him first. Let's build that expedition. And where do we want to build first? Um, well, it really depends on whichever tile the city acquires first, doesn't it? Uh, I'm not really too sad about a canyon in Radius, especially after they added a little bit of a yield to canyons. And otherwise, that's not bad. All these tiles are pretty good. Being able to live off the titanium and the xenomass helps as well. Um, I guess we could build a road between the two. Not a bad idea. It's a ranger. Okay, get him down. Well, we do have open borders, so it looks like they could just be passing through. Um, our economy... Yep. Is stable actually. Four. Not bad. That's a lot of military units though. That looks very scary. This looks like a war army. But you'll have to wait until next time to find out, guys, because that is the bell. And until then, guys, take care.